morning folks this is a bit of a last minute sort of video this is sunday um which is normally sort of day i put a video out i know i've got a wednesday video out as well but i haven't this week um because i've been busy life and all that and also i've been busy with my 3d printer printing some bits and designing some bits on tinkercad um so my own bits rather than obviously stuff from thingiverse and stuff like that so this video is quite a short video it should be quite a short video I'm just going to talk about this stuff, which is my bit. So the people that follow me on Facebook or Instagram, people I talk to on a daily basis on those two platforms, we know what it's all about. It's about these turrets and the stuff that I've been trying to make um, for gas lands. So like the quad turrets, I call them. They're very similar to like a World War II slash Vietnam War like quad 50 cal turret where a crewman would sit inside, but obviously I've added like a door on the back and a little bit of a hump and stuff like that. So jazzed it up a little bit. So I've been working through them um, with different weapons and stuff like that, trying to get them to print nice. I don't really like this gray resin. I prefer the blue resin I had before, but I'm gonna get some green resin. I've also been working on, the, on these little low profile turrets with guns on them. I've shrunk them right down now, so they're more like a one-man, like upper half in the turret sitting on the roof of a vehicle. The um, thing I've decided with these as well is to print them as like a, a mantle, the guns mounted on the turret itself, A for ease of printing and B for like ease of use. So I used a bit, oh, did a bit of R&D, research and development. Um, just printing loads. I did about 10 prints to get to get this far. Um, which isn't a lot of resin, it's like 10 as worth of resin, 15 quid's worth of resin probably, 10 full bed prints on my Mars, so um, yeah, so I had lots of failures um, out of those 10 prints, I've got this, um, done some totems as well which I'm pretty pleased with, stepped through those um, to what we've got now with a little base bit that can be cut off. Same with these turrets. I started off with the turrets with no with no real step on the bottom, and I've gradually worked up to them having like a post step on the bottom, which I've now in the final version I'm going to hollow out so that it can easily be cut off, so you can raise or lower the height in the bed of your vehicle how you want it. The next things to show is obviously on the computer, which I'll do in a second, which I'll probably film later because I've got to move a load of furniture today, having new stuff, secondhand sofas delivered, um, and we've got to take our old sofas away. And all that jazz. So this weekend's a bit of a bust for hobby stuff, but it doesn't matter. I've also designed um, some Tesla cannons like this. So the ultimate aim with these turrets, obviously, is they'll be printed, and I'll show you on the computer in a second, they'll be printed without the guns. There's gonna be like a little hole on either side on the flat plate, so these guns won't be there. Let's bring it a bit closer. So the guns won't be there, literally just be the, two sex. literally just be the centerpiece. Uh, and there'll be a little hole, two and a half mil, and then on the gun parts, which are going to be printed separately, will be a post, two mil, to fit inside. You could put like a neodymium magnet inside the hole, and then drill into the gun itself and put another neodymium magnet, so you can swap your loadouts, and that's the aim. Now you can't run quad machine guns in gas lands, you run twins or singles, so the idea is that, uh, I like quad stuff though, so thematically, I like the look of that, it's very Rutherford, 450 cows on the back of something, it looks good. Some of the four pounds of fats, you can just run it as a rocket launcher, it wouldn't make no difference. But the aim of that is to, to make it a bit more modular. So I'm gonna do some sight and arrays to sit on one side, like a searchlight one as well, I think. And then on the other side, you can have like a single machine gun or twin machine guns, a flamethrower, a Tesla gun. I'll do, this, I'll do the mirrored for both. So you, I'll do two lots of sight and stuff, two lots of searchlights, Two lots of single machine guns, two lots, lots of single tester guns, two lots of flamethrowers, so you, they can be swapped, chopped and changed. So you can theoretically put whatever you want on there and run it how you want. And then the idea of other thing is, is a print bed would have all the different options plus the two plus two or three turrets. So you can swap, swap around as you want. Well, all the different options, a turret and then a couple of the small turrets uh, and like a gun mant mantles with, with barrels and stuff on. That's the idea. Now. 
Yes, they are my own design. Are they a money maker? I don't know. I, I'm going to give a load away anyway because I've got plenty of friends that, that are really interested in them uh, through the internet, like Facebook and Instagram, who I, I, I want to sort out anyway. They've helped me with advice and stuff like that. The BSTL files. If I put them on Thingiverse, they instantly become everyone's, which I don't mind because I'm all for that. But I don't know, I think it's something unique that not a lot of people have done before. I've not seen very many. There's lots of modular guns, and we'll do loads of modular guns. Uh, like most of their most of their turret systems are modular because that's the way they run. Um, but I think like the, the truck bed quad gun system style, I've not seen before. It combines a lot of different things. The first sort of few versions of this had MG forty twos on. Some box of fails. Keep your fails. You can learn from them. Uh, I think I've ditched all mine. I think I've ditched all the dust. Oh, there, I'll go home. So, see, this is what, another reason why I've. See, it's failed in the print. It's angled, the gun's down, the gun's come out fine, the Panzer Faust's are missing. We just keep on failing. So, I thiefed those up in Tinkercad. These are another set of little turrets I was experimenting with. They're just too flimsy, too thin. The MG42 is on there failed really badly. I don't like this grey resin like I said before. Tried this sort of like uh, little turret design. Probably gonna go with this still but I'm gonna make this again the same. So the same mantle that will fit on with the barrels that will fit on the um, this sort of style turret. This is a bigger version obviously. This is how it's gonna come out with nothing there. The same mantle that fits on there I'm gonna make so it fits on in here as well. So there's a couple of different options. I know lots of people do 3D printed stuff. Oh, I've got Vulcan cannons as well, one second. So it came out really nice with flash hiders on there, or flash suppressors on there, because you can't hide the flash of something that goes brrrr. Yeah, twin Vulcans. The annoying thing about these is that, although the rib barrels came out, they're just too narrow, so I need to redesign. And I've got single pin on mounted Vulcans as well. I don't know if you can see that. Um, which I'm super happy with. They came out exceptionally good. I've noticed some limitations printing wise. Anything smaller than about one mil doesn't really come out. I tried to do some sight rings, some, like some halo sight rings on some of the guns. Um, no dice, um, unfortunately. And then obviously the whole the whole reason I got my 3D printer was to print out. This is all my stuff I print out for other people. Mostly off Thingiverse, I'm for Tony from. Uh, uh, sorted me out a load, got some from Mike Tongue, um, etc. etc. So, this is all the bits I've, I've printed out on my 3D printer since I've had it. The Gaslands, one of Mike's little bikers. I have not really had any chance to do any building because I've been so obsessed with what I'm doing. Which is a shame. I mean, I've done a, a war with this month and I've done a few other bits and pieces, so it's not too bad. But yeah, so that, that's, that's, that's where we're at with this. Um, it's a bit of a project. It's something I didn't think I'd do because I'm absolutely crap with computers. I'm not a massive technology fan. Technology me a firm for kind of enemies. But it seems to be, once I've got it in my head, I've got it on, I've not been doing drawings because I'm not very good at drawing. I've been doing like sizing and stuff with a set of calipers. That's been really, really handy. Scaling stuff to how I want it. Um, so yeah, so stuff like that. Um, gonna add some more rocket pods. Might add like a, a Sneb style rocket pod, so like a multiple rocket pod, or like a um, the Hydra missile pod, which is like a, a four, I think it's Hydras, used to be on the Apaches. Lynx in the UK had like a, a, a quad missile pod, so in a square setup. Might make that one of those as well. Just just anything like that, that, that is different to what's already out there. Like I say, I don't think it's going to be a, a humongous money maker. So I'm not going to be able to retire on it. But I think it's something that I can, if I can do it well, there's certainly a market for it. And we do some stuff around it. So anyway, yeah, I've got other designs and stuff I'm working on as well. But any suggestions of stuff you want to see for Gaslands? Engines are a bit of a pain in the backside because there's lots of very, very good engines out there. And to be honest, if you want a very, very good engine, then you just type in Hot Wheels engine into Thingiverse. 
there's a million and one really good engine files out there from like massive v8 to rb26s and skyline and stuff like that. honda k series engine so any engine you can really think of v12s etc so it's really not v6s if you if you're a pansy but yeah there's not really anything there that i can do differently same with exhausts i'm not sure how i'd, I'd design an exhaust I haven't got to that part i'm teaching myself as i go on uh on tinkercad so it's a bit different to for me but it seems to be doing all right so anyway we'll swap around i'll put the camera on the other tripod which would be a bit wobbly but so it'll be later on today because i've got furniture to move Ugh. it may even be this evening i'm not sure hopefully not because i want to get this video out by this by this evening um but yeah so that's what we've been i've been doing uh that's why i've not been posting many builds we'll do a monthly mashup next week probably um i've got four or five things that i've been working on on and off uh, and I'll get some solid hobby time done this week as well, rather than just sitting in front of the computer or waiting for the printer to finish printing to check what I've done. All right, cool. All right, then, folks, so here we are on Tinkercad. Let's have a look at this. Oh. <laughs> I feel bummed much to normal today. It's actually still in the morning. I've done some chores. And she's not getting here for another hour, so I've got a quick level on this. So this is the thing with Tinkercad, when you load stuff sometimes, and it shows you every single thing you've changed up to that point. And you're like, oh Jesus, I did a lot to get to that point. So all the deletes, all the little ads, all the moves. So here's what we got. So there's little little posts. So I've beefed up these, uh, oh, found my box of fails for this project. Now it's the ones I've binned off because I was pissed off. Um, so that's the MG42s I was saying about, you can see how they're delaminated. In fact, as a whole, that print was absolutely cack. So, <clears throat> on the Panzerfaust, I've increased the width of the tubes, um, beefed them up, etc. So yeah, the box of failures is the box of failures. So I think they'll print quite well. I'm going to print better now that I can angle them to print on the print bed. Not a lot of detail on the mounts, I didn't really want a lot of detail on the mounts. So you've got the Panzerfaust there with the posts, you've got your holes. So you could get a 2.5 or a 2mm neodymium magnet in there, do the same on the arms. I've done it like this because you can just use post to putty or blue tag to do it. Then I've got the colour list, pretty crap, but you can really see it there. got my MG slash Panzerfaust, I've changed the barrels obviously for more like a 50 cal style. And the holes don't go all the way through, which makes it much easier. And I've got twin, twin linked machine guns. The barrels are even, but the, the mechanisms are staggered, which I know is it's a bit of a weird one, but that's how I wanted it. I didn't want it to stick. I wanted everything to stick out no further than the MG barrel. That way, if I put it in the bed of a truck, it's not it's not jutting right out the back, if that makes sense. So we've got those. Two seconds. I'm just going to pause this because my daughter's crying. Sorry about that. I'm back now. That wasn't my backside, that was my chair. Um, she was just getting grumpy because it's nap time, she didn't make her sleep, bless her. So, like I was saying before, which for you was seconds ago, for me it was about two, um, two and a bit hours ago. Um, this is how I'm going to go, so I've got little round mounts for pounds fast, I think they're quite cool, quite, 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 um, like low key. Don't need a lot of jazz on them, it's really how I want them. What I was saying before though is obviously, you've got left, right, left, right, left, right. I'm going to do target an array left and right um, and then I want to do like a flamethrower left and right a single MG left and right my Tesla cannon left and right etc so if I go like this get a cylinder up this my knowledge of this is super super basic okay and I've been making notes on sizes and stuff as I go so I've been using nine that's the cool thing if you want to change a measurement and you just bang straight onto it. It's quite, I'm a super technophobe, and I don't, the last thing I did on computers was, like, qualification-wise was 1997, when I did computer literature and information technology. And I am not computer literate in any bloody way. Okay, so, these are what I use for the round mounts. And this is the size I've chosen. There's actually a round mount in all of these, just hidden by the square mount. You can see I've cut that one off a bit to make it look a bit jazzier. So the round mount is uh, that I've been using is 
nine by nine by four mil deep, which is about the right, I don't want it too chunky. And then if I just, I'm selecting it, come over here, I've copied it, I've got a left and a right now. That's the cool thing about this. Um, I watched a couple of tutorials on, on Tinkercad obviously, and then after that I just started. Just started jazzing away at it myself, if, if I'm honest. Right, I'm gonna move those out of the way because I don't need those for a second. What I wanna make is like a, a searchlight style sort of thing. So I want a half sphere. All right, because I don't want this too big. Let's go seven. I want to have lots of like. I want to have like a searchlight on it. I want to have like a target and a race. Excuse me. Let's go three. So it's a bit, bit more domed. You have to remember where you are, and obviously, if you want something ninety degrees, make sure it's at ninety degrees. So you can either tap on it and put in the dimensions, and you've got plus and minus. You can adjust everything in increments, but if you want something to be straight and universe, straight and universal i know what i mean mirrored and stuff so i've got like a real like a real basic half sphere and then you think about a searchlight for example let's do what's the time of that again seven by seven like i say design not my thing i've used other people's stuff on some of the basic guns that i made before all this stuff i'm doing at the moment is all 100% me and it's nice to use other people's stuff because it get you get a or modify other people's stuff because you get a handle of what's going on and, and how things work so say you, you like to specific barrel right so this this one here I took style elements from a couple of different barrels the Panzerfaust is a Panzerfaust it's fairly easy you can do what you want to make a Panzerfaust it's easy same with the turret it's, it's fairly easy I took styling cues from like a the the sort of turrets they had on the front of like the the uh, rivering craft in Vietnam slash the 50 cal mounts, quad 50 cal mounts used to run on the white half tracks in World War Two, So that's what I took styling cues from that and then made it a bit orky with like a door in the back and stuff like that. But like I say, you can find files that are very similar. Sometimes you can find loads of machine gun files on Thingiverse. But if I wanted to eventually sell these or, or offer them to a company to make mass produce wise, if I've copied someone else's gear, it's not, it's not ideal, is it? It's, it's, it's plagiarism. You're using someone else's gear and you're not necessarily pretending it's yours because you'd have to be honest about it. Right, see what I've done here. Sorry, I've just put one inside the other. See, when I've been adjusting the sizes, it's changed down. So I want that about four. You've got a back key on this and you can go back. If I hammered that about 20 times, it'd start undoing everything I've done. Um, but anyway, we're not going to do that now, but I'll show you some other things I've learned on this as well. Now, anyone that's done Tinkercad, you can get bored out your skull by this. There's plenty of Tinkercad uh, and 3D design videos out there. Just showing you the, the part of the basic process that I do. So, already almost, that's that's quite a basic looking searchlight, isn't it? It, it, it doesn't look too bad. I'll take a tube. So done that. By the way, what I just did then, when I highlighted it and then clicked this button up here, that is the group, so it adds everything together. Now it's one complete surface, so I can move that wherever I want. I went to ungroup it again, I just press that, and it ungroups. I don't use the hotkeys because I've got fat, meaty hands, and I tend to mash all the keys together. So this is the problem sometimes. I can't tell if that's 90 degrees or not because this bloody thing pops down. There we go, 90. And we've got seven by seven. So what I'm doing here, Seven. Seven. What I'm doing here, you'll see in a second. Okay. Now, say I wanted to increase or decrease. So I wanted to move it back. So I want to move this front edge back. Yeah. If I, type, if I click on the back edge, it brings the back edge forward. Yeah. I click on the front edge, brings the front edge back, which is dead handy because it took me until probably yesterday afternoon to work that out, which I felt like a right wazzock. Now you can see something's a bit dewy there. Let's see that. It's slightly off. Sometimes this gear looks, looks like it's slightly off. So I'll put one degree on. 
All right, let's put another one degree on. Can't be three degrees off, I'm sorry, that's not right. And another one degree. No. It just looks it. And it is. I'm sorry, that, that is off. Off, off. Right. So this sometimes happens when you're not paying attention, when you're when you're doing all the jazz. I'm sure someone in the comments about, I saw you do it at such and such point. Don't care. Couldn't give a monkeys if you saw it or not. See, when the, when the image is like that, where it's all overlapped, that normally means it's straight on. So the problem I've got there is, yeah, this face is not in line with that face. So if I just unselect it, You can see that this front face is not quite even. That'd be my own fault, that. All I want to do, though, is add this ring to the front. And I don't want even, even want it that big. I want it 0 0.5 big. Yeah, so it's more like a searchlight lens. So I've still got that concave shape, which I wanted. That searchlight lens. The, the little angle in it won't make no difference now because I've, I've lined it up against the front here. All I'm going to do is select combine does that you can see it's out now and because it's slightly whiffy like that that's it so I made a basic searchlight shape already now the next things I want to do is be like a do like a target in array as well on there let's find the cylinders again it's probably hot keys for all this and people that know take a card are probably screaming at the screen right now and like I just said you're wasting your time because I can't help being me. So, 90 degrees. I'm not going to do this for much longer because I don't want 10 minutes of me peeing about on Tinkercad. Because if you want to watch Tinkercad videos, there's better 3D designers out there than me, that's for sure. So, for something that I'd like to, I'd, I'd want to do. I go up a full centimetre. It's just barely going to be touching, which is cool. I'm going to put some brackets in. I'll, I'll join it together and it'll be fine. So I want that a little bit longer. And then on the front of this, I want to add half sphere again. Which dimension is that? And this is the last bit we're going to see before I, I sort off of this and, and just do some design and we'll talk about it at the end. Like I say, it's not a particularly long video this week. Um, sorry about that. I've been doing... A million and one things so let's shrink that because it looks suspect 2b1 around to 90 degrees pick it up move it in lift it up to about the right height you have to be careful where you put your mouse sometimes have a look at that it's a little bit low now if I do this, it's going to go up by a full, a full one mil. So I need 9.5, no, not 4.5, fat fingers, told you. 9.5 is too high. It's going to be 9.25, 9.25. And you see what it is. The problem is we're a little bit off again. So it's thrown. It can't be right. Right, it's even my eye, throw my eye, or oh, this is off. Two degrees, cheapest creepers. Okay, so we've got a little doohickey there. And the last thing I want to do is use a torus, which is like a big old beach ball. Star shape, two by two, bit one. Smash that out to 90 degrees. Ugh. So get on top of myself as well. I'm not I'm no expert on this. Pick it up. When you pick it up sometimes, that's when you can accidentally fudge the angles. 
No biggie. Down. Back up by 2.5, obviously. 9.25. Stop. There you go. So for me, I've got a little targeter and a searchlight. Gonna join all that together. Done. And that's how it works. It's as simple as that, really. Um, what I'll do after that is I'll add some more greeblies and stuff on there. Add some bits and bobs at the back. I've been putting like little posts on the back where I want to put hoses or little holes. Anything small about one mil, it doesn't really print. Because it's a bit too low on tolerances. Um, Although I've had success with 0.5 sometimes. So, I need to brace on, I need to take it off. Oh. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna add some groovies and stuff in the back because it wouldn't be bare on the back. Maybe add another little targeter, uh, which, which is a pain because what I could have done was, let me just undo that. And select that as a separate little thing. Combine that as one thing. Then if I press the duplicate and repeat button, shift it out. I want this all to be one thing again. Group together. Excuse me. Cool, eh? So I've got like twin sort of targeters there. So what I do then, this is about the point where I can't mirror it anymore. Combine everything, and then duplicate it. So I'm gonna need a left and a right. Then after that, what I'm gonna probably do is stick them on their sides. Because I've got 90 degrees one, I'm gonna go minus 90 on the other. <coughs> and then we've got Bring this bracket in. And I'll do some more jazzy stuff here. See, it's sticking out quite a long way. So I'm going to probably take it down to three and mount it on there. I'll do some straight bits on there. So I've got like a really, really simple straight off target and array slash searchlight sort of thing, which is. That means you can swap left and right. In my head, that makes sense. I'm going to fiddle about with this for the next couple of hours, probably a bit later on tonight, because obviously, half hour's time, stuff's going to be changing. Uh, so yeah, so that's it for me for the time being, and I shall see you once it's done, possibly when I've printed it out. All right then, so, I think it's fair to say I've had a lot of failures. Some of these aren't the same things, but these are all my personal failures. I'm working on this sort of project I'm doing, um, but I'm pretty much there. I've gone through 16, 17 prints now. I've got two full sets there, plus I've got some turrets mocked up. Oh, I'm not so much, sorry. Some turrets mocked up. And these vehicles here, twin pounds fast, <clears throat> quad MGs, single flame forever target on that one. And I've got a Tesla cannon in a bigger scale, and there change the scale slightly around in a few bits. So, what, what I'm gonna have in a set currently is a pair of turrets. Slightly different to these, that they're, they're going to be hollowed out more inside, um, just so that makes it easier to cut them down to fit whatever height you want. Then there's going to be a pair of targeters. Am I centered? Not centered in the slightest. One second. Change my light source. There we go. It's like five o'clock in the morning, so bear with me. <coughs> so. Power targets, power targeters. I had two different types of flamethrowers before, and we're down to one now, um, which is this type. So, pair of flamethrowers. Got 
quad Panzerfausts. So any tank rockets, whatever you want to call them. Single Fausts with targets. And then we've got a couple of different flavours here. We've got quad sort of more World War One y Hotchkiss style MGs. They're slightly different in scale, scaled them up a little bit. And then we've got these quad MGs and these slightly smaller quad MGs. And the reason behind the three different types is obviously give it a bit more variety. And also with the with the smaller um, non-staggered MGs, you can mount them flat on roofs and stuff like that of vehicles. Then we've got a pair of small rockets, more like the the hide like a, the hydro rocket pods or whatever you want to call them. Then we've got a pair of single MGs. I envisioned these that you could mount them on the side of the vehicle, like on the doors. And then <clears throat> a pair of Teslas. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different weapons. Obviously, two targets, two turrets. That would be what I think would be in a set. And that's why I've made two sets up so far. So the two final production sets plus this set here, obviously. Minus the ones I've made over there. Um, so yeah, so that's let's just move some stuff because I'm doing a build at the moment as well. And then I've got in my prototypes box. I've got all the prototypes, how it, how things started. Plus I've got prints. I'll just grab one of these newer turrets out. <clears throat> exactly the same as the other ones. Only difference is. They're hollow in the middle, pretty much to the bike base of this little nose bit. That means you can cut them at any height you want, or if you want to stick a magnet in there, you can. Um, yeah, so I went through a few iterations of different stuff. Tesla cameras shrunk in size, MGs grew in size, buoyed off a few ideas that I had. Obviously, this is what we started off with. Quad guns, <clears throat> and then guns and Panzerfausts, and then quad Panzerfausts on turrets. And then I scaled it back down to, oh, that's great and all. You can't really see them, sorry, one second. Just tipped a load of bits on the floor because I'm an idiot. Oh, it's been a long night. I haven't been asleep yet. That's partly what it is. I should do this product left it. So, yeah, so this is how it started, obviously. A couple of different scales and sizes there of turrets. <coughs> With the, the weapons fixed on. This twin sort of 50 cow looking style turret, the guns just wouldn't come out right. <clears throat> no matter how I did the supports, they came out really, really crappy. So I binned that idea off. The Panzerfaust were too thin. I printed about the, about 20 of these before I got them to get decent prints, so that wasn't viable. And then everything else, like I said, Tesla Cannon was bigger. These twin MGs were bigger. I a support underneath and I took the support away. Once I got them to the right thickness, Change the design slightly, put a stronger brace in there, <clears throat> stop it from lifting up. Shrunk the tester, like I said, because the tester can be a little bit too big, as you can see. And various other little design features and changes. <clears throat> I've still got some of the crew serve Teslas. Um, the Vulcan cannon fell by the wayside, it just wasn't printing properly, so that I've been that idea off for the time being. I've got a couple of good and one good twin mounted <coughs> Vulcan cannon which I use on builds etc. Actually I've got three three okay-ish Vulcan cannons. I tried to do like a more of a cannon version of the Vulcan cannon with a like a straight barrel as in a single barrel. That didn't come out either very well. Um, sometimes it's just how it is. I'm not gonna say it's the limitations of the printer because it, it could be anything, could be my I guarantee it's probably my design. So yeah, so, my, so trophy poles and tomes are going to come back. Um, I'm going to do some work on those coming up next week or so. so get some trophy poles. This is the first product. This little pile of resin there. That's obviously not because they're not the, the the hollowed out turrets, but that's the first 
that I'm truly happy with as a set. Which is funny that, because at the same time as I've been doing those, all those have been printing and I've been tweaking them, I've been working on these. In a second, I'm just going to screw into focus so we can digest that for a second. This is the I am desperate to try and get rid of this grey resin because I hate it. <clears throat> this is the third iteration, or fourth iteration of these now. <clears throat> that I've been printing off. And what this is, is... Let's see, these won't fit now because they're going to call me a lie. Yeah, the tolerances are too small. Tolerances are too tight, like I thought they'd be. So at the moment I'm working on these, which will be just... It shouldn't take as many attempts to get these right as it has the other stuff. And that's purely because I know I'm pretty much down on the scale already. Just gonna narrow the, man the gun mantle a little bit and drop it in height quite a large amount. So these are gonna be, this is hugely out of scale, and so it's this, these are wildly out of scale the wrong way. So this, this started off as, These bigger turrets that I made, and then I scaled them right up. <clears throat> and I printed a couple without guns on. I thought, right, if I print a couple without guns on, I can mount guns. See, I haven't scaled these down properly, they're still scaled for the bigger turret. So that was the plan. I've obviously cut back into that. To make the indent, this needs to come up in scale. Not, not a vast amount. I need to use a, lose a bit of meat off this. So the setup was <clears throat> to have tester cannon, single MG, twin MG, twin MG, twin MG, flamethrower, like a cannon, like an auto cannon, and then a sing another single MG. To simplify it down, I'll probably drop that down to maybe four. A twin MG is a twin MG. Um, so I prefer this sort of twin one here, so I go that MG, the Tesla, the flamethrower and the cannon, I think is what I'll do. I've printed a load of these though. Ooh, that's got my wrench, that's weird. Uh, I'll brush some crap off of a dirty paintbrush obviously. Um, so I printed these out and I printed a load of turrets, but they've all gone a bit weird. The resin is not curing whatsoever at the moment for some reason. So this is the next project that's on the go. Might be a subject for something different um, when I release these, but as you can see, I can print that small. The problem is the base warps. These are all warped anyway, quite badly. So this base ring is too thin at that smaller scale. At the bigger scale, it's flat and thin, but I wanted to put it on the roof of a vehicle, which is the whole aim of these. <clears throat> That's not too bad. That's ludicrous. Something like this American stone rod. Sort of looks all right. Looks horrendous. Looks like he's wearing a hat. Obviously the whole idea of these was to be so you can mount twin guns. <clears throat> oh sorry. You can magnetise it if you want, hence the hollow, which is probably why it's curling a little bit as well. But yeah, so that's that. And that's the end of this video. Um thanks for watching. Sorry my voice is going. <coughs> Not very well, obviously, as you can tell. Um, yeah, so next product, product. I'm gonna say product because I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up selling these. I think, and I said earlier on in the video that I'm not sure yet. But I think I'm gonna end up selling them. I think they're, they're good enough to do that. So this gun will come up in scale and size slightly, not a vast amount though, just to be able to thicken up that base and to give it a little bit of height and amount that so I can fit my different guns on. Um, but let me know in the comments below what you want to see. Um, I'm pretty happy with these. Don't think anyone's done any quad turrets like that. Uh, as far as I know, no one's done any quad turrets like that. So I'm going to be the first, which makes me happy. <laughs> okay, right, waffling on and on and on. And I'll speak to everyone next time. Mm -hmm.